Darren's organised another modelling job for me. He doesn't give up, does he? He told him where to go, right? I told him I'd think about it. He just went on and on. He's had to say no. Steph, I thought that you swore off showbiz for life. I mean, you said you hate being treated like a piece of meat, that, that it made you feel cheap. I know I said that, but I'm skin. Hiya, is, uh, is Tony about? No, I, I haven't seen him. Like a complete shock. Oh, I was just telling them that mum and dad were worried about something going wrong with the baby. That's why they didn't tell us when it was up. No. Right. I think you said enough. It's private family business. It wasn't planned. Mum didn't know herself till she was four months gone. I mean, how stupid's that? At her age, <laughs> she's not had a contraception. Well, they're not the McQueens, are they? I mean, if they handed out medals for getting pregnant, your mum would be an Olympic champion. Shut it, Frank. Come on, Ames. Here. Well, Mr. Satan calls me a freak. I figure, right? How things at home? Yeah, yeah. A bit crazy, you know, with my mum and um, Amy having the flu. Anyway, I better get to class. I'll see you around. The knack. Used to be the cause of locker. Thanks. Kept it. I wasn't going to throw it away just because we finished. I'm glad that you kept it, not that we finished. <laughs> Me too. Look, if you uh, ever want a break from cleaning baby snot, then. I've got to go. Rules. Rule number one, there are two sides to this bed. Yours and mine. Understand? Yes, okay. Sorry. <gasps> Rule number two, clothes are on. I sleep naked on with JP. What? PJ. No pajamas. Yeah, we'll get you some, shall we? You look scary when you're angry. So don't wind me up. What's wrong? Oh, let's see. I just shared a bed with a weird naked Albanian bloke I've known for five minutes. How's that for starters? <laughs> so anyway, there's this top I like, but I'm not sure if it suits me. So will you pop into town with us later? Yeah, of course. Here he is, the handsome devil. Wow. <laughs> Bacon butty, please, Mum. This is for fella, me lad. Full English for our special guest. Thank you. Hello, <laughs> Dad. Hi. How are you? Oh, you know. Can I, uh, oh. How's the little sister? Deluded. Hey? She's fine, yeah. But she doesn't even know she was born. Everyone fretting over her, running around her while she just sits there, not caring a world. <laughs> Jake and Charlie came over last night. Always got some lungs on him, I tell ya. See, I'm the youngest, I'm not used to babies. But you don't even remember Amy being born. If you're not used to them, it's a total head wreck. I know what you're going through. No, you don't. Oh, one minute it's peace and quiet, the next it's total carnage. I know what it's like. Look, Craig, I'm gonna walk on my own, all right? Hey, I'm um, sorry about before. It's all right. Look, I know I've messed up. No, Craig, it's not that. And I've tried to sort things out with John Paul. He's just, well, he's not having any of it. It's so stupid, you know. I can't believe I've lost my girlfriend and, and my best mate over it. What? You alright? It takes some getting used to. I'll give you that. Maybe I don't want to get used to it. Maybe I just want things back to how they were. You don't have a choice. Don't worry. Not every baby is planned. 
My mum loves telling me I'm the best mistake she ever made. No one understands what it's like. You have a sister, a little sister who's, who's turned your life upside down. And right now, you're wishing you never clapped eyes on her. But... What? Nothing. Come on. Well, you're not a kid anymore. You're not a child. You can't soul code with things like this. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, then tell me. Please. It's nothing. I've, I've just, I've had a mad few weeks, that's all. And you didn't think you'd come to me? Really? I've missed you. Sorry. I can't apologise. And I've missed that. Does this mean we're right? Yeah. <laughs>